What's going on Guardians? Joker back again once again and today people, today we're talking about more Destiny 2 leaks but before we get started go ahead and ninja the crap out of that like button. You already know that your support is appreciated so 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 there are so many leaks. Bungie doesn't know how to contain it and neither does Activision. First up on the chopping block for scrutinization is the leak brought to us via the Twitch moderator Snowy. Now Snowy is the moderator for the extremely popular Twitch streamer Githalion. Yesterday, he tweeted out a receipt from a GameStop in Germany where he had pre-ordered the Destiny 2 PC Limited Collector's Edition. Gathalion has vouched for the authenticity of this image, so you know what? I'm inclined to go, yeah, it's probably real. Some intrepid members of the community have also found GameStop websites in the Netherlands and in Germany that are also taking pre-orders for various versions of Destiny 2. But that's not all. The leaks just keep coming. The Italian website Legay Network, leakers of the original Destiny 2 poster, which turned out to be authentic, has also leaked this image. Translated, it apparently claims that there will be a Cade 6 action figure available for pre-order. This was swiftly taken down and replaced with this. <coughs> Dear Guardians, during the first two days, we managed to provide you with a huge amount of fresh infos on the forthcoming Destiny game. By request of Activision, we reached an agreement with them, and we've decided to remove the material which is, as you can see, proven to be 100% true. Keep on following our page to be first to know every news about our journey. Love the staff. Another leak comes to us via games only, just showing us a placeholder for Destiny 2. However, that cover art looks fairly cool. I like it. It's nice, it's simplistic, it's minimalist. I'm not sure if it's legit or if it's just a mock-up, but like I said, it's cool nonetheless. I prefer it way more, way, 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 way more over the three helmetless guardians. And in the mother of all leaks, Originally covered by Mesa Sean, Instant Gaming shows us the minimum requirements for the PC version of Destiny 2. But more importantly, it gives us the back-of-the-box synopsis. It says, <clears throat> Destiny 2 is the sequel of Destiny Online game, developed by Halo Maker Bungie. It is a science fiction game with PvP and PvE elements. Destiny 2 will be larger and more comprehensive than Part 1, and is designed to provide a seamless, open world with accessible cities. It is still unclear whether the story is continued or whether Destiny 2 is a reboot narrative, again, starting at the beginning in order to catch up the missed possibilities of the predecessor. Destiny 2's own player characters can be imported into Destiny 2. Now, of course, with any leaks, please, ladies and gentlemen, take them with a huge, huge, huge iron banner sized grain of salt. This one seems way too good to be true, and I'll tell you why. One, the grammatical inaccuracies. Destiny 2's own player character can be imported into Destiny 2? Well, I hope so. I hope Destiny 2's player characters can be imported into Destiny 2. What they're likely talking about is Destiny 1's player characters can be imported, at least the physical aspects of them, can be imported into Destiny 2. Also, the website knows that this will be a seamless open world with accessible cities, but yet doesn't know if it's a continuation of the Destiny story. That's kind of important. You think you would know if it would be a continuation of the story long before you would know that it has seamless open worlds with countless cities that you can go and access. One of these things is more important than the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. I'm just saying. What this feels like to me is somebody created a placeholder based on community speculation to drive hype, likely in order to compete with their competitor GameStop who is already taking pre-orders. My thoughts about the other leaks? Well, the receipt one is the most legit and the most telling. Having worked and managed a GameStop for four years, I can tell you GameStops don't traditionally follow the rumor mill. They don't take pre-orders on things they don't know if they're going to get or not. One of the largest complaints I got outside of the usual GameStop bashing is how long it takes GameStop to start taking pre-orders on collector's edition items. 
sometimes taking days if not weeks to put them in their system. So knowing what I know about GameStop from the time I spent working there, I'm going to say, yeah, you know what? This is 100% confirmed. There is a PC version coming, and there is a limited collector's edition coming. It's, it's confirmed at this point. GameStop would not take pre-orders on it if it didn't exist. As for the Cade 6 figure, I'm less inclined to believe the accuracy of that leak. After talking to one of my former employees, he told me they can't pre-order anything just yet, but then he did go on to tell me that they will be receiving an exclusive, unannounced Todd McFarlane Warlock. What I think is possible is this is just a pre-order for a Cade 6 figure. Or more likely, the limited collector's edition will come with a Cade 6 statue. I think this is vastly more likely than GameStop giving out figures for pre-orders, more so when the poster and the beta are already enough incentive to get people into the store and pre-order. So what's happening? Why are we having all these leaks? Well, if you look at the other game that was leaked, Call of Duty World War II, it would appear that Activision is having a huge problem keeping shit in house. So why is that? Well, my guess is E3. E3 is just over a month away, and we're not seeing leaks stateside for it. We're seeing leaks in Europe. Likely due in part to how mail travels. I imagine they would need to start shipping things out early to get things ready in Europe. I know from my time in GameStop that from the warehouse to the store, it takes an average of about two weeks to receive something. Which means it's likely we'll see stateside leaks for Destiny 2 about two weeks before E3, if we see them at all. Another interesting take on this is that these leaks could be strategic. To see which game gets the full arm of the Activision marketing department. Call of Duty World War II is more than likely inspired by Battlefield 1 and its success. After the shit show that was Call of Duty Halo 5 Theft Auto 3, I think they might be testing the water, so to say. But those are just my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below, and like always, stay frosty.